As you learn about the narcissistic pattern, it's also wise to reflect on the much healthier alternatives. Now below, you're going to find a link to my new extensive course called Ready, Set, Connect. It addresses both the mindset and the skills involved in gratifying relationships, and I hope you'll find it to be quite therapeutic. There's one word that hardly any of us would want to use to describe ourselves, and that would be the word stagnant. You know, as we age, we hope that we can be in a growth process, that we're evolving and we're learning more and more about who we are and what the world out there is all about. We can become more expansive. We shift into new and more enlightened ways of managing life. And let's hope that that's something that each one of us would aspire to. We have a word for that, and that's called maturation. You know, with narcissists, that word stagnation is not very appealing to them either. But instead of them um, growing into a healthier direction, they take their characteristics in the opposite direction and they go further and further into their dysfunction. Let's keep in mind that narcissism is indeed a pattern on a spectrum and you can start out at a certain place on that spectrum and as the years go by, it can get worse and worse. And one of the biggest uh, problems or concerns that we might have about people of a narcissistic bent is that they can step into the world of sociopathy. And basically, when we're talking about sociopathy, we're talking about a form of narcissism that just goes even further than your run-of-the-mill run narcissist. When, and by the way, I, 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 as I think back on some of the individuals that I've worked with and talked with and known, I mean, there, there are times when people might have earlier in life purported to be, you know, uh, the keeper of the rules and the, the one that you count on, but then they become inclined towards um, cheating people out of money or uh, sexually aberrant behavior or uh, fun for the uh, sake of having fun to the point that they bring other individuals down and irresponsibility takes over and they can uh, collapse or they can bring other individuals down. That's what I mean when I talk about going into sociopathy. Basically, the, the sociopathic individual is, is uh, someone who has that core self-centeredness. Uh, they have that willingness to exploit and manipulate. They're entitled. They lack empathy. They want to be in control. But then there are just extra ingredients that are a part of that that uh, take it further and further down the spectrum in a very unhealthy way. When you develop sociopathic tendencies, there are multiple indicators uh, that are involved. First, um, narcissists who then move further and further into sociopathy have decided rules and standards and norms <laughs> aren't for me. They disregard that. In addition, they have not just a, a disregard, but a reckless disregard for the harm or the consequences that might come from some of their choices and some of their priorities. They can be highly impulsive and they have uh, poor self-restraint. And, and of course, what this does is it sets them up for impatience and irritability and sometimes rage and anger because they've got such a strong need to have things go exactly as they want. They're highly controlling. Uh, they suspend their conscience, if you will. Uh, they, they can know what's right versus wrong, but it's like, I don't feel like doing that today. And as a result, then uh, they can have all sorts of behaviors that uh, can take them, um, sometimes pushing the boundaries of legality and then beyond. Uh, sociopathic narcissists are pervasively dishonest. And, and uh, narcissists uh, can have a lot of dishonesty because so much of their life is built upon a false self. But uh, with the sociopath, it's so central to what they are that it's, it's, uh, it's just how they do life. Honesty is just something I don't have that much of a regard for. They can be charming, but then in their charm, they have devious uh, intentions. They, uh, they're they very willing to use and exploit people. They're pleasure seekers, and uh, they, they will uh, do whatever they want to do, regardless of what the cost might be, because you see, they don't really think too far beyond today. Now, how is it? 
that a person who already has these strong narcissistic tendencies can creep further and further down that spectrum toward uh, sociopathy. Well, it, it all depends on how they talk to themselves and how they rationalize certain things within their minds. For example, narcissists can go further and further toward a sociopathy when they think to themselves, I'm really different from the rest of the crowd. I, I'm unique. <laughs> and of course, aren't we all unique? We each have certain uh, different proclivities and interests and all like that. But to the narcissist, uh, they, they've decided, yeah, but my uniqueness is really unique. And so they think of themselves in extra special kind of terms. It's like, well, I really should have favored treatment. In fact, I'm going to go get it, that favored, uh, favored treatment. As a result, they tell themselves the rules that might apply to everyone else don't necessarily apply to me. In fact, I think they're pretty stupid rules anyway, and they're, uh, those rules are made in an arbitrary way by people that don't really know what they're doing. They also tell themselves, I deserve more. There's, there's one huge word that sociopaths just uh, don't like, and that's the word enough. Instead, it's more, more, more. I want what I want, therefore, you just need to shut up and let me go get it. That being the case, they remind themselves that your boundaries are irrelevant. In fact, they're just not reasonable. And so when you say, well, I don't want to go with this way. I want to do it this way. Uh, they can uh, taunt you or tease you. Oh, come on. What's wrong with you? Or what's, uh, who's, who's afraid of a little fun? Or uh, this isn't nearly what you're trying to make it out to be. And as a result, they don't respect boundaries. They'll blow right by those uh, any chance you get. The narcissist will uh, will simply rationalize by saying, hey, I like a little excitement. <laughs> There's no crime in that. And again, having fun, having excitement and pleasure is okay. But to, to the narcissist, their excitement, their pleasure seeking, uh, their forms of entertainment somehow always come at someone else's expense. And whoever they harm along the way, eh, it's just collateral damage that just happens. And, and they don't really care about what uh, happens to other individuals. Uh, they, they're users. They're the consummate users. Sociopathic individuals think if you can get me what I want, you and me, we're going to be pals. And then when, uh, when that's done, then off to the side you go, you're just simply utile to me. And so they use people. They go through individuals a lot. You'll hear a lot of, uh, uh people who have this tendency talk about many, many individuals that they may have been associated with, but they wear out their welcome because they have so, such a low need or willingness to blend and harmonize. And then let's even go so much further, a little bit further and say, sociopathic narcissists actually think to themselves, it's kind of amusing when people writhe and struggle with pain. In fact, when they complain about it, they're just wusses. And, and as a result, it sets them up to have a type of uh, sadistic approach toward in other individuals. And by that, I mean, they actually take pleasure and they can mock individuals who have pain based on their choices and their actions. So you can see that some individuals can uh, can start early in their adult years with a lot of the narcissistic tendencies of self-absorption and the need for control and low empathy. But as the years go by and the rationalizations and the cravings and the needs become larger and larger, that's when they step across the line and go into the world of soci sociopathy. And it's extremely dangerous. They will go down and they have no problem bringing you with them. So it's necessary if you're dealing with someone who has this uh, inclination to know what's going on inside of that individual. Um, first, let's remind ourselves that these people are extremely shallow. Now they can have good intellectual capabilities with respect to IQ, but uh, there's a shallowness there to the extent that they, they don't really uh, think deeply about uh, the personal dimension or the moral dimension and, and meaning and purpose and where all of this is going. It's like, all I know is what I want right now. In addition to the sociopathic person, power is of utmost importance. And in fact, uh, if you try to you know, get in the way of them having power and control and dominance, then you're somebody that's expendable and they will run over you because uh, as far as they're concerned, uh, they have this sense of entitlement that's exaggerated to, uh, and you with all of your rules and regulations and procedures are merely a blip on the screen. You're somebody to be eliminated if you try to, uh, to go uh, against them. 
additionally, it's important for you to recognize that these are people whose moral compass is just broken. Like I say, they can know the difference between right and wrong. They just don't care. These individuals are truly empty on the inside. Meaning or purpose for them is self-serving only. And uh, they have little to no need to truly connect with other individuals on a heart level. They like to connect if they think that you can give them some jollies or give them a good time. And that's it. Now, I want you to ask, when you're in, in, uh, engaging with this person, do you ever find yourself pleading your case <clears throat> or you know, letting them know, hey, quit doing this. This is awful. This is no good. Sometimes, do you find yourself just going along to get along because you're afraid of the repercussions of speaking out? Uh, or perhaps have you become numb to the whole uh, world of sociopathy? By, by the way, just, you know, one of my pet peeves is uh, how the entertainment industry just glorifies sociopathy, killing and, and uh, you know, uh, manipulating and exploiting other individuals. Have you become numb to things like that? Let's keep in mind, simply put, that uh, sociopaths with their narcissism already intact hurt people, and they do so willingly. Your task when you've been hurt by that individual is listen to what the pain is trying to tell you. Now, your pain is your way of saying this is a wrong approach toward life, this is inexcusable, and frankly, this is not good for me, this is not necessary for me to uh, continue on with this. The sociopathic narcissists uh, tend not to adjust at all. They tend not to learn. That being the case, it's going to be up to you to individualize your efforts to find a good way of life. You are in the presence of an alligator when you're dealing with the sociopathic narcissist. Keep your distance. Now, I hope videos such as this can give you some good awareness of what you're dealing with. I know that some of you are in pain. Like I say, listen to that pain and follow through with where it uh, wants to take you in a, into a much better place. If you've not already hit that the subscribe button, I would encourage you to do so. We'll keep more videos coming in your direction. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button, uh, button too. If you have a need for therapy, and many times when you're engaged with these kind of individuals, uh, that would be something that would be quite helpful so you could sift all your reactions out. You know that I'm sponsored by the people at BetterHelp.com. Uh, there's a whole team of licensed professional therapists at your availability. There's a link below this video that will take you to the website. Uh, since the pandemic, uh, online therapy has become very popular. It's accessible. It's actually effective and affordable. So please seek the help as the need is there. Likewise, I have my uh, video classes and uh, these are very extensive. It's like signing up for an online course, and I have three of them. Uh, each one of them has multiple videos and uh, written documents per video, guided questions that uh, will carry you into a certain direction of growth. We have Ready, Set, Connect about making healthy connection skills. Uh, this is me about establishing your boundaries, free to be, finding yourself despite those controllers. We also have my webinars that I presented, and you can find that on my website. Uh, the website, by the way, has uh, many articles on there. We have my podcast, we have my books, lots of resources. I have spoken with so many people who could say, I have been burned by that narcissist who went further and further and further down the path into sociopathy. Just know that you're dealing with something that's very dangerous and it tends not to end well. I'm hoping you, as you see what their proclivities are, can decide I'm going to uh, anchor myself in dignity, respect, and civility. That's what we do here on Team Healthy. And in doing so, I hope you can dedicate yourself to being a trustworthy person who's also moving in the direction of peace.